Oh, right, it instantly starts. Welcome to Character Select! Hi, how's <laughs> it going? I forgot about that. My name is Dave, and with me today is... Saban. And today, as promised at the end of last year, we are playing... It's going to take a forever. A game that's... It's, yeah, it's never going to show up, so might as well say it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Final Fantasy V. Yay! The game with the insufferable, unskippable cutscenes. Oh, my God. Uh... No, oh, you can't. oh, I can pause. Great. Thanks, Kate. Hooray! <laughs> I can drag this out even more. Uh, so we're playing the uh, Steam version of this, which is actually the iOS port. Hooray. Um, because it has the best translation. And that's always kind of what I prefer anyway. Um, and continuing our grand tradition of Final Fantasy games, I'm not the one playing. Saving is. <laughs> yeah, what up? And we're using some weird program, so I'm controlling Dave's computer. It's true. No circumstances for you to follow me, do you understand? Do you understand, Satan? Immediately Satan's? follows. <laughs> right? Something is wrong with the wind. It smells like farts. Uh, Must no. go to the windshine to make sure to make certain nothing's happened to the crystal. All of our wind farms, they have failed us. <laughs> it smells our like cream. smoke. Our green revolution is a green Dis failure. Defeat? defeat? I don't know what the uh, failure. I guess. Hmm. You just hop on that dragon, there, buddy. Hop on that dragon's actual head. I think. Yeah, and <laughs> you are also as tall as the dragon. Fucking like Hobbit dragon. So, when this game was released on the Super Nintendo, it never actually came to North America. Really? Yeah. They were going to release it, but then by the time that they got the translation mostly done, Final Fantasy VI was out, and they decided to scrap it and go with that instead because it looked better. Yeah. But in the original Super Nintendo version, all of the sprites were half size, half the size they are now. I mean, kind of an improvement. Yep. Also, these porches... Do, do these look anything alike? Anything at all? I tried to find the mod to let you remove them. If anybody can find it, please leave a comment with the link down below, and I will totally put it in there. Because, God, but, I hate this art style so much. It's so I actually, bad. I don't mind Amano's art. Amano's art is actually really, really good, but it clashes with this game horribly. <laughs> Uh-oh, the wind has stopped. I feel like that's just you die if all the wind stops ever. Like, how, how do you circulate air? Yeah, pretty much. The air gets stagnant. Polliniz or pollinization stops. Certain oh, animals God. can no longer fly. What in blazes? Crack, crack. What in blazes? There's not supposed to be fire in the wind shrine. That's where the fire shrine. <laughs> so have you played this game before? Uh, Yes. Okay. But you've never finished it. Uh, correct. Okay. Because I don't think I've ever actually finished any Final Fantasy game, because they're all really long. I don't really <laughs> like JRPGs that much. It's very true. This one's a good one, though. This one is very lighthearted, yeah. and yet at the same time also one of the most serious ones. This game also has blue mages, which is my favorite class in any RPG, so... You specifically started playing Final Fantasy XIV when they announced blue mages. Yes, and then got incredibly butthurt when they announced that Blue Mages couldn't do uh, endgame content. What? Yeah, you can't, like, uh, do raids and dungeons and stuff unless you're in, like, really specific circumstances. Because fuck you, apparently. What? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's really lame. But it's okay, because I can be a Red Mage, which is my second favorite class. Well, now you're I a Chocobo. Control. Fuck this place, yeah. I'm out! <laughs> you're a Cocobo! So, obviously, when a meteorite hits, the very first thing that you should do is go to where it hit. Oh, God, okay. look at this dweeb. Yeah. So, it used to be worse. The mod that I downloaded changed the hair color so it at least matches the sprite. Oh, well, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you run towards the meteorite so that you can steal all the valuables from space. It's true. Gotta get that, um, iridium. Meteor iron. Uh, hello, friends. Oh, ATB. Great. One of my least favorite things ever. How is ATB uh, one of your least favorite things ever? It's not even that bad. Yeah, but, like, 
I can understand having an action gauge in something like a Dark Souls where I have control over my character, but this is fucking menus. <laughs> why, why is there a time limit on this? You'd prefer just straight turn-based? Yes. Fair. If you're going to play a game entirely via menu navigation, yes. That way I have I don't feel pressured when I'm trying to fucking read. <laughs> my name is Lira. I'm... Okay, wait. Before you name this character, I have to give you the option of the original... Yeah, it's um, Bart's Mer or Butts. No, no, Butts. B-U-T-Z. Yeah. Or we could call him Bart's, which is his actual canonical name. Yeah, or we could call him... Wait, how do I do this? Oh, you don't have a keyboard control. What do you want to type? Uh, butts with two T's oh, no! on that. No! no! <laughs> we'll be right back! <laughs> Unacceptable! <laughs> no, I don't want to watch that cutscene again. Oh, uh, fine. We'll keep going. Because I don't think there's like an autosave at this point. There could be. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. It's fine. It's, it's Bart's. fine. Just pretend that he's called Butts. Yeah, I mean, that's his name. It's Butts. I <laughs> guess it's a meteorite. Thanks, Captain Obvious. No shit, Obvious. Sherlock. Is that a class in this game, Captain Obvious? <laughs> it might as well be. Obvious Captain. Oh, hey, hold, hold, up, hold a up a second. You're cute. Ding. Oh. What is this strange Ding. feeling in my pants? <laughs> Help me. Over there. Oh, God, it's the feeling of being watched by an elderly man. What, where are you going? Oh, there's a fucking chest there? Yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> I've played this game before, I never knew that. <laughs> where am I? Oh, my aching head. Alright, he is the only person who has a decent bus start in this game. He looks like a fucking badass old man. Exactly, because he is a badass old man. <laughs> it's very true, Galef is like... The, sorry, his this guy's name is Galef. Uh, he is Garnum. the most badass of man. Looks like you hit your head pretty bad. Maybe you got amnesia. Yeah, not like a concussion or anything. Just, yeah, amnesia. just don't take this guy to a hospital or anything. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just gallop. Don't cast cure on him. I don't know. Nope, Implying just any the of these name. nerds can cast spells. It's true. I hope you're ready for all fighters of the game. <laughs> God damn it. There's a reason we're playing this on my computer. So that between episodes, if you don't grind, I will. <laughs> oh, thank God. Good. I don't fucking want to. Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure that's where I was headed. Great. Come along, old man. So, I'm pretty sure that my favorite thing about this particular scene is that he just saved the day. And it's like, hey, do you want to come with us? And he's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> it's like, what? Really? He's like, yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to go. Also, why is he wearing a lab coat? Or wearing, whatever that is. He's wearing like a trench coat. It's like a duster. Is it? I guess. I swear to God, it looks like a lab coat. He, he looks like he ought to be in, in like a field tent somewhere, like treating wounds after this meteorite is. <laughs> it's what too are you green doing to here, be a freaking lab coat. I mean, I guess. Oh, and for people that are concerned about whether, why, uh, whether or not we're going to do voices or read all the text. No. No, we're not. We will read, like, the important parts, and we'll go over that, but we're mostly going to commentate on things as opposed to actually read voices. Yes, feel free to pause the game if you... or pause the video, I should say, if you want to read text. <laughs> and thus now we you begin have a concussion. the concussion. Thus we begin the fucking slapstick comedy. What are you doing stopping like Bad chocobo. <laughs> yes, slap that chicken. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. All right, correction. He has the best bust in this game. Actually, yeah, that's true. That's an awesome picture. Quack, 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 quack. Yeah. Fine. I was playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I did not know this was a thing, but apparently there's a fat-ass fucking chocobo. You didn't know about fat chocobo? No, and you lead him around with a fucking, like, carrot on a stick or something. Unless he's flying, in which case you lead him around with a cake on a stick. Amazing. I'm pretty sure you can hold cancel the run, by the way. I can't do shit about this. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Those hit frames last for way too long. Yep. Not the... But the... the so the weird thing about this game... Is that... 
the fucking length of time that the battles take is still improved from the original SNES version. <laughs> Which is kind of a disturbing thought. Yeah, I, I like the SNES aesthetic better, but yeah, that game was slow as fuck. Mm-hmm. Incidentally, that is how I originally played this. Oh yeah, so did I. Because I'm a fucking nerd like that. And of course you did. You got you played like the fan trans. Ye. Yeah. So how how does a chocobo carry three people? Do you like strap them to the wings? Can uh, I shoot satellites. Gallif like a missile at somebody? <laughs> oh, did the game seriously yep. just crash? Yep. What is this, Dragon Age? Yep. Fucking oh, hell. Oh god. It feels. We'll, we'll be right back. Okay, good. So apparently this game just, you know, saves all the time. Probably Which because good. it's going to crash a lot. <laughs> because it also crashed like ten times while we were trying to get it ready. That's true. Good morning, birds! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also, I actually like Bart's character. He gets fleshed out more in like side stories like Dissidia and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. he basically is the definition of a happy-go-lucky doesn't give a shit guy. <laughs> like in Dissidia, when he faces off against um, the villain from this game, which we'll get to later, who says, you will spend eternity wandering the void. And he's like, you know, that doesn't sound half bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I'll take you there myself. Because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> Feels like the wind is calling me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Galef calls him out on his shit immediately. You just like pretty girls. I love the laughing animation. That's kind of adorable. <laughs> this world really makes no sense when you look at it later. Because it's like, well, the road is blocked, so... But the road doesn't lead anywhere, even if it wasn't blocked. I mean, right, do any of the try. Final Fantasy worlds make sense? Like, I'm pretty sure three was just like an island just hanging out in the sky. So, yes. whatever. Which was a cool reveal when you found out about it in the game. So cool. S spoiler alerts, by the way. Uh, yeah. Well, that's like the first quarter of the game. Maybe the first half, <laughs> something like that. Suddenly, okay. it's so slow. Doing, doing, doing. Alright, Chocobo, you chill here. Probably opened up during one of those quakes. That means it's perfectly safe. <laughs> yeah! Fucking Chocobo's Christ. the smartest person here. Like, I ain't going to that cave. <laughs> Y'all die. <laughs> ah, we'll never see Boko again. Also, incidentally, whenever I get a Chocobo and they ask me to name it in a Final Fantasy game, I always call it Boko. But, uh, oh. Go, go, go to the spring. Go to the spring! No. Fine. I'm missing four health. I don't think you're even missing that. I think you got a free heal again. Yep, uh, sure yeah, did. So, I, I don't need <laughs> shit. Oh no, it's a battle! Aw, uh, yeah, random encounter. Oh, jeez, what is this thing? It's a stroper. It's a stroper. It's like a roper, but not copyrighted. <laughs> also, Bard starts with the longsword. Lena starts with the freaking dagger. Caleb is like, I will take you on with my fucking meat hands. <laughs> I will punch the shit out of you. Guess who's <laughs> being a monk? <laughs> uh, God, get up. Wow. I love the way they use the animations in this game. I really do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aha, so that's how you get in. To the place I didn't know existed until I found that out. You got a, a leather, leather cap. cap. Alright, let's see. I don't... Nope. Oh, nope. wait. Yeah, I know. Okay, equip. There you go. Right. Uh, let's see. We're going to make... Gallif a tank boy. Good old tank boy. So, this is a game that has a class system, which we'll talk about more once we actually get classes. Right now, everybody's a freelancer. They don't have any special abilities. Or, as it was called in the original SNES translation, bear. <laughs> They're all just bear. 
bare naked adventurers. It's true. Although Freelancer and is actually the most powerful class. So I've heard if you do a shitload of grinding. And we will, because it actually doesn't take that much when you get to a certain point. <laughs> if you say so. Go out the cave. Oh, What's that's... that? It's the Enterprise. No. I know. Might as well be. How is it sailing with the wind so weak? How does wind rely on some sort of magical force instead of, you know, physics? Weird, I don't understand it. <laughs> Pirate's hideout. You gotta try to go in. There's no secrets around here. This Can one explore, I know. Motherfucker. I love the music in this game. It's like simple, but it's also really good. <laughs> I like how he literally just pulls his party out of his own ass. <laughs> party in my pocket. Maybe they'll give us a ride. Uh huh. <laughs> You can't ask for a favor from a pirate. That's why we just sneak out and steal their ship. What? <laughs> Balls of steel. Balls of steel and fists like metal. I don't know what that switch does. Oh, that opens the door back the way you came. He. And they're blocking all the doors so you can't get anywhere. <laughs> huh. Sleeping. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this game is a fucking comedy of errors every time you play it. Yo ho ho and stuff. Time to cast off. I like how they didn't think to like pull up the gangplank or anything when they got on the ship. <laughs> also, <lol. laughs> fucking Galef calling him out just like immediately. <laughs> Trying to steal my ship, are ye? You've got a lot of brass. Yeah, have you met Galef? <laughs> <laughs> or may have you just lacking in brains? Yeah, have you met Bartz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, this is where you find out she's actually the princess. Oh. Except that we knew that. Of Tycoon? They must be rich there. Rich! <laughs> yeah, do you guys have any, like, roller coasters or. <laughs> or, uh. <laughs> Maybe a theme park? And the theme park tycoon. Yes, let's immediately go to you degenerate, leecherous, piratey pirate. <laughs> God, the writing in this translation is so Ding. good. That pendant. Da -da 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 -da. Toss a lot of them in the brig. In the bridge. Wait, did that say bridge? No, it just says brig. Okay. God knows that being a young and stupid kid, I honestly thought it said brig. Or a bridge. Toss them on the bridge. Give them command of the ship. <laughs> well, this is a fine how do you do. <laughs> Who came up with the idea of stealing a pirate ship? Oh, my aching head. Can't remember a thing. <laughs> like I said, this game is very lighthearted. And it also has some of the most serious moments in the series. But... It's definitely a very big um, difference between Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy V, and Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy IV was deeply personal and basically tragedy after tragedy. Final Fantasy VI is, oh god, the world ended and everybody's dying. Final Fantasy V is like, hey, this guy's got amnesia and is a kind of a jackass. <laughs> oh no, why does the prince Also cross-dressing pirates. Hey, we haven't found that trick out yet. I mean, the sprite has boobs, even if Ferris does not. And you're technically correct. It's, like, the worst kept secret ever. And you would think that's a girl just looking at it. Yep. Both sprite and portrait. Or an incredibly pretty man. Which, in, I mean, the, history fair, Final F <laughs> in the history of Square Enix games... Yeah? <laughs> I don't know, I think Butts is probably just as pretty. 
God damn this art style, though. Yeah, we're doing things! Woohoo! You can go back to the break. Pull anchor! We sail to the wind shrine! Also, I appreciate the fact that Ferris can command respect. It's like, Captain, what are you doing? I'm the captain. Do what I tell you. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. That's a <laughs> Just good walk right up there. there. There's no railing on that crow's nest, by the way. Nope. That guy's dead. It's fine. He's just gonna just <laughs> hug the tree the whole way. <laughs> How can the ship move? Sildra, come up and say hello. You thought chocobos were cool. Check this shit out. Dragon bitch! It's a Gyarados, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Grew it from a Magikarp myself. <laughs> We're closest siblings. Also, I just realized this ship has like 14 cannon. Yeah. Holy crap. Hey, it's a pirate ship, what do you expect? It's true. Aw, yeah. Now you're now you're playing with superpower. <laughs> Captain, shall I sear, sail her to the wind shrine for you? Yes. All right. Apparently, you can go other places, but there's no reason to yet. Yeah. Why? Why would I? We. There's three places you can go here. Two. One of them's locked off. One of them we don't have anything for yet. And the other one is the wind shrine. Is there a town accessible at this point? Yeah, you can go to the town that you go to later. Mm. But, again, Do we I don't have any money. Yeah, we sure don't. Alright, yep, <laughs> I guess we're going here then. Welcome to the Wind Shrine. Also, we have our full party, in case anybody was curious. Yes, she did join us. What was that door opening sound? That click, was click. suspiciously out of, out of place. <laughs> what happened? What's the matter? <clears throat> now there are monsters in the shrine. Dun dun dun! Dun, dun, dun. It's a dungeon. Who would have thought? What about Father? Hey, he's probably fine. Don't worry about it. He went up to the top floor. We're kind of, yeah, we're worried. We don't want to go after him. So, yeah. <laughs> Crystal's up on the top floor, right? So, funny enough, every Final Fantasy game has a theme, and this one's theme is kind of about overuse of resources. So it's kind of environmentalism. Oh, sweet. Free potions. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. Am I full everything? Yep. Okay. Again, you have Ooh, full healing. Alright, so before we climb the wind shrine, let's just go ahead and say we'll climb the wind shrine next time on Character Select. Oh, and shit. finally get this adventure started. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. Uh, I don't know. What do you want to ask them, Saban? Uh, do you think we should do an all-blue mage party? Spoiler, no. we're doing an all-blue mage party. Are we? I mean, I'm doing an all-blue mage, mage party. Yeah. Can I take away your control? I think I can. <laughs> no! <laughs> My precious! 